Hey guys, Uncle Ray. Welcome to another episode of the Crypto Bellwether. I don't always tell you what you want to hear, but I tell you what you need to hear to make an informed decision. And this is not clickbait. That thumbnail that probably made you click on this, that's a direct quote. So we're going to dive into that because right now, if we're lucky, it's go time with the XRP token holders. With a little bit of luck, in the next couple of days, because they've been calling before this month's out, we could get an answer from the judge about XRP. And that's why you're seeing XRP pump. Now, I hope you guys have a game plan. Now, that being said, the reason I'm making this video is because I'm working one on one with people to help them capitalize and have a roadmap and a system in place for the next bull run which is in my opinion the best opportunity for the average person to change their financial future i really believe that but now as i dive into their portfolios and we go over it quite frankly almost every person has xrp bags and most of them are uncomfortable with that position you know why because they've got a lot of misinformation and they jumped into the FOMO and they didn't have a overall plan or understanding of exactly what the risk rewards are. So that's why I'm making these videos because people are so excited and the FOMO is about to get crazy and you need to have a plan. I hope XRP and Ripple win this court case. I hope this announcement comes out during me making this video. I can't wait. And then we will see a pump. And we're going to talk about that and we'll dive into the the chart at the end of this video. But hear me out guys cuz we got to weigh out the risk reward exactly where we're all at and and if you get more information whether it's negative or not it's better to know the true downside of what you're dealing with so you can have a game plan. I just want everyone to win, but I want everyone to stack the bag that fits their risk tolerance, and it, that will take you having real information. Anyway, let's get into it. All right, someone sent me this article. Now, this article came out just a little after the when the SEC brought the court case. Now, as you can see on the screen, this article says, Ripple can do without XRP if firm loses ironic lawsuit. CEO Brad Garlinghouse. And think about that, guys. Now, people will tell you you're going to get a jet. All you got to do is stack a small bag of XRP. They talk like it's a no-brainer. That you'd be a fool not to sell your house and your car and, and use your kids' college funds to get rich. It's that simple. Why have all these influencers not brought this to your attention? Because I've literally been down the rabbit hole for over a year and a half with Ripple and XRP. Quite frankly, guys, outside of what happens every day with the court case, I have no more rabbit hole to go down. I have studied the Ripple business plan. I understand their tokenomics. I understand how they use their escrow. I understand their cash flow. I understand how they make the bulk of their money. I understand how market makers use the escrow as well. I understand their quarterly reports when they come out. I got it. But I wasn't aware of this statement. And why is that? People tell us every day how great an investment it is. But they don't explain this stuff that matters. And the devil's in the details, guys. This concerns me. Now, I also did a video a couple months ago, and I said, what happens if Ripple decided to create another token to take the place of XRP? I got a lot of hate for that. Well, that's a really high-level conversation that should have been had, but wasn't. But, you know, if you've had the background like, me with the fi with finance and you understand 
what's going to happen when they go public and just how simple it would be to switch out XRP, you'd probably want to have that conversation. But anyway, so this concerns me, but I just want to bring it and some other things that I've talked about before to everyone's attention. And then I'm going to tell you why and show you exactly how in the XRP community they turn this kind of news, a little bit of good news, into absolute FOMO that makes you just run in and want to stack your bag. Now, let's get into some more information. Now, I did a video on this. Now, I'll leave a link down below. But I think, guys, there's not everything's positive is about to happen. I really think, personally, and I hope I'm wrong, I've never wanted to be so wrong in my life. I think that they're going to have, Ripple's going to go the distance. We're going to take it all the way to spring for it, or they're just going to give up and stop fighting. But I think they're going to have to go the distance. I think two years from now, we're still going to be having this god darn conversation. But David tweeted this out just a couple months ago. It says, when a scrappy financial startup takes on a web of corruption and betrayal to bring instant payments to the masses, they learn that the cost of disrupting the status quo is higher than they could ever have imagined, forcing them to decide between their vision and their survival. What is he trying to say, guys? I don't know, but it doesn't give me that feel-good feeling that XRP is going to pump to record highs and stay there and change the world. Now, this is a, this is a direct quote from Deaton, not taken out of context. And I did a video on this, and I'll leave it down below. John Deaton, who he's representing the like 70,000 XRP holders if and when they have an, a whole different need, right? That's what he does. He's not fighting for Ripple. He's, he's fighting for XRP holders now and in the future. But Deaton says, Ripple must decide what's best for the company not what's best for XRP token holders. Everyone needs to understand that. Now, speaking of Deaton, he is in the news right now, and the FOMO's pumping out. And this is what I want everyone to understand. If you get nothing else out of this video, understand how much BS goes on in the XRP community, quite frankly, in all of crypto. You got to learn to get the other side, dig deep and find out what actually was said. Check this out. This caught my attention like yesterday because John Deaton is a lawyer, right? And for the XRP community. So I like to hear what he has to say. That is information we need to hear no matter how good or bad it is in my opinion. But you today says XRP price could skyrocket after court decision John Deaton suggests. Skyrocket. Now I know John can do math and that got my attention. If the lawyer for XRP community says that it could skyrocket, I want to hear it out. So unlike every probably 90% of all the influencers out there, they don't click on the link and read it directly. They just start that FOMO machine. Well I want to hear exactly what he said. This is my money. It's not a game. So when you read it, here's the exact quote that turned into skyrocket. John Deaton, XRP has the most attractive risk reward ratio, in my opinion. The judge's ruling is coming down within the next few weeks, maybe this week. If the SEC wins, what's the downside? 45 cents? I think it's a lot lower than that, but that's fine. Ripple appeals appeals and we get the status quo ripple wins and it's made clear xrp isn't a security upside question mark how do you turn that into skyrocket to me it's exactly why i own xrp i personally agree with that in my opinion, especially people that have, were stacking XRP back toward 25 cents, the risk reward is great. I sleep at night. 
I got into this trade for all the right reasons. I understood my risk. I understand my reward. So that being said, he's not saying go load the boat and put money in that you can't afford to lose and it's going to change your life. That's what all these influencers say. Now, before we look at the chart and, and try to make a conclusion of is it time to maybe take some profits? Because one thing that concerns me that I want to talk about when we look at that chart is that what has served me for 30 years and all the big money across the world does this time and time again. Buy the rumor, sell the fact. There's a good chance that when the announcement comes out, XRP goes down. And everybody's going to go, what in the heck? They won. How did it go down? Well, it, it pumps before the announcement. And that's the smart money. They moved it up on the rumor, knowing all the root retail people are going to jump in, FOMO in, and rally up. After the win, well, they'll just sell into that rally and it's over because they have the big money. The smart money always wins, guys. And if we're lucky, we can follow along with the smart money and participate. Now, before we look at the chart, I just want to tell you this. I'm working one-on-one -on -one with people to fight through the FUD and the FOMO to get an actual game plan and a strategy that's going to help you capitalize on the next bull run. It's only $250, and we will do calls and like Zoom videos probably three to five times to get you where you need to be. So you'll have a game plan, and you'll understand and have things in place to decide which projects you want to stack, how much, and you'll have an absolute strategy for your portfolio in the future. If you want to do that, I'll leave a link to my email. Down below, like I said, it's $250. Now, let's take a look at the chart. Guys, it's a thing of beauty, I have to say. Now, this is the year to date. And this is the 24-hour. It's pumping good, guys. It's pumping good. Now, let's talk about reality, because this is a thing of beauty. Best case scenario. Let's talk best case before we talk downside. We do get an announcement, and like I said, everyone's been talking about this month. Now we're getting toward the end of the month. So let's just say Friday, or actually, yeah, Friday, we get the announcement, and it's positive. They win, which quite frankly, guys, I don't know. I, I personally don't believe that happens. But let's say they win. XRP is going to pump. But here's the question. This gets back to working with me. Do you have a game plan? I got an exact game plan. Once I get about a 2 or 3x, I'm pulling my initial amount out. That's a winning trade. Boom. Right? The next tick, I'm making money. And then I'm going to dollar cost average out all the way through. I don't know if it's going to be that same day because I got to read the charts. If it pumps hard, 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 hard like a spike straight up to say $3, $3.20, I'm out. I'll probably get short, and then I'll buy it back, probably get short again, and if they get relisted, I'll do that 15 times. That's my personal game plan. But either way, I'm taking those profits right out of the gate when we get a big pump. I'm already, I haven't checked my, dollar, my, my exact price, but I could already get my money back, I know that, and then have the same size bag. I got a game plan. I want that for you. Now, here's so here's the thing. Do you have a, a game plan? This thing could pump to a dollar. It could pump to a dollar fifty. It could be already over over purchased and it 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 falls apart. It really could. The buy the rumor, sell the fact. Or it could pump to a new high. Now it's going to pull back no matter what somewhere along the way. And then they could get the FOMO machine going, and they could get like relisted on Coinbase, and that announcement might send it flying to five dollars. I don't know. Pick your best realistic dream plan. Let's just say it rallies to 
seven dollars i don't think it can get above that because we're not in a bull market right now i'm talking about right now but that would be amazing let's just say it's going to go to it, it's it could run to seven dollars well i <laughs> i can almost guarantee you not financial advice that when it hits that seven dollars it's like that it's going to be a spike right it's not going to stay up there and let you think about it and one thing i'm i'm learning working with people and quite frankly i i didn't see this coming a lot of people haven't taken profits from some amazing gains so you got to have a game plan and a strategy for every position especially this one because guys we've got a lot of people literally have planned on changing their life with xrp now that's the positive side what's the downside if they lose what are you going to do like he said it drops down and then they appeal right no matter what if it's not a straight a straight out win we're all going to have to deal with probably guys two more years <laughs> sorry about that two more years is going to be the downside so I, I just want to leave you with one last thing when i talk about a game plan if you've allocated real money into a project and it does, and i'm not necessarily talking about xrp you have to learn to calculate the cost of tying that money up because it's a huge cost think about the people that have owned xrp for five years and maybe let's just say they put twenty five thousand dollars in it not only did they tie up that money and they're down and they're going to have to have maybe a three four five x just to get back to even they've lost all the opportunity cost of having twenty five thousand dollars to play with they could have been buying selling buying selling stacking ai projects at the first of the year they could have bought xrp sold short xrp right there is a cost to that money anyway guys i didn't mean to get on a rant that's how i roll sometime but look if you need some help let me know and if not guys subscribe we've got a lot of good content coming out to help you get on track help you capitalize on the next bull run let me know your thoughts in the comment section and either way guys hit that like button and come back and be part of this community take care